Hello, and this is Low Budget Philosophy. Since I already have everything set up, I decided to make a second video, but because I'm too lazy, it's gonna have much less video and audio, audio. editing. And so many people asked me, many, one, two, three, two. Many people asked me to make a video on result-oriented thinking. Hopefully I spelled it right. So being result-oriented in this context is really bad. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say you just graduated from high school and now you need to make a life choice. You can go to college or you can go, str you can go straight to work. And let's say you estimated your technical, your intellectual, your social abilities and you figure out that based on those abilities, with 90% chance, going to college will benefit you more than going to work. And going to work will only benefit you 10% of the times. So there's like some luck involved, of course. And so what do you do? Let's say you decide to go to college because the probability that you will succeed is, is much higher than the probability that you will succeed at work. And so you go to college and what turns out? You fail. Let's say you go to college and you fail. You're not successful. And then, so you sit, you stand here, right? And you think, oh my god. OMG. So unlucky. I should have. I should have went to work. Right? And so the next thing you say, which is really important, you say that my decision to go to college was, I'm already using black markers, so, I mean red markers, so I'm gonna use green marker, was wrong. You are being result-oriented here. This conclusion is result-oriented criticism. You already know the result of the, of the decision. And based on this result, you make a conclusion that the decision you made was wrong. You should not do that. This is, this is incorrect. When you just look at this scenario alone, you just look at this. And if you estimated that based on your intellectual, social, and other abilities, going to college will benefit you, then this decision was right. It's not about the decision that you made wrong. It's just that you got unlucky. Let me, you, let me give you another example. Let's say you're trying to pick classes at college. So you go on the web, right? And there are all of those professors and you're trying to choose one. And let's say this one's like 3.0 professor, this one is 4.0 professor, and then there's a 5.0 professor. So what do you do? You say, aha, I'm gonna learn much more with this one than with this one or with this one. So you choose this one, right? Why? Because it's better. Because it's better to choose 5.0 professor. But let's say that later, as time progresses, in the middle of the semester, your professor gets sick. And so what do you say? You say, oh my god. And what happens next? Comes the substitute professor. With 2.0 rating. And so now you have a very miserable semester and you don't learn much. And so then you... And you're sitting here again, and you're saying to yourself, Damn, I should not have chosen this professor. And what do you do next? You say, My decision to choose this professor was wrong. I should never choose 5.0 professors ever again. You're being result-oriented. This psychology is wrong. Let me give you one more example. Let's 
say you're voting for a president. And there is one candidate that you really like. He has all the policies written. She has all the policies written. She has everything established, all the criteria. I don't know. She's a perfect candidate, right? And then there is another one. Which acts like a clown. I don't even know why he is here. Has a red nose. Doesn't know what he's doing. Very strange looking. Kids are scared of him. And so what do you do? You vote for the first candidate. Let's say the first candidate wins. And it turns out that he's a pervert. And your country goes to a nuclear war and everybody dies. Does it mean that you make the wrong decision? No, you made the right decision. You just got unlucky. In this scenario, when you choose the better one, 99% of the times, you will get a better outcome. 99% of the times, choosing a better looking, fit candidate with policies is a better decision to make. Most of the times, this decision is going to benefit you. Let's look at another person. Let's say that people voted for the second candidate. And let's say it turned out that he actually is great. And he improves the economy of your country. He makes everybody happier. Everybody's making money. Everyone goes to college. And so now you look back at your decision that you made when voting, right? And you think to yourself, I made the right decision. I should always vote for clowns. Well, no, you're being result-oriented. At this specific moment, the probability that this candidate was better than this one is 99%. The probability that this one is better than this one is only 1%. If you chose this candidate, your decision to choose this candidate was absolutely wrong. It just turned out that this was the case when the 1% happened. That's why result-oriented psychology is wrong. The decisions should never be judged by the outcome. They should be judged by the probability at the specific moment the decision was made. Ta-da! Let me elaborate more on this idea. Let's say this dot is you, and this circle represents all the information you have. And the rectangle is all the information in the world. Obviously, you don't know all the information. So what you do, based on the information you have, you try to predict what is going to happen. You're trying to predict the shape of the future world, right? And since you don't know what the real world is, based on this information that you know, it could be anything. Maybe it is this world. Or maybe it is something that looks like this. You don't know. All you know is that your world must include the information you know. However, even given this, the fact that you don't, all, you don't know all the information, what you can do is you can predict what the information is going to be. And this is why physicists are able to create the laws of physics. We don't know for sure that gravity exists. Maybe one day we will find an object that never falls. But based on the information we have, we can conclude with a high probability that the gravity is in fact there. Let's say that you thought that going to college and being successful was in the real world. So if it was, then it would be inside. If it wasn't, then it would be outside. In any case, you make a prediction. When you said that based on the, based on your skills, on your knowledge, and on your social skills, and on our technical skills, you predicted that in there are many worlds, right? But in 90% of them, this X was inside of it. This mark, the college and being successful was inside of it. So when you made this decision to go to college, you gambled that this X was in the real world without actually knowing it. Let me show you what result oriented psychology is.
So you were in this scenario, you were this circle, and now you're this weird shaped tra trapezoid. So this is the, the green is the amount of information you now have, the black is the amount, amount of information you had. Black predicted with, that with 90% confidence, going to college will lead you to success. Now you, want to, you grew up, you, earned, you learned more information, you went to college, and you failed. And so now you have more information, now you're a green trapezoid. And now, because you're a green trapezoid, you know that X is outside the real world. And so you make a conclusion that, oh, my decision was wrong. And what do you mean by that? What you mean is that based on this information, you should have made a decision to go to work instead of college. But if you only have this information, then the probabilities, then the odds are in favor of going to college. When you're a result-oriented person, not only you can look at your past correct decisions and say that they were wrong, but also look at your past wrong decisions and say that they were right. Just like choosing a clown president, the decision was wrong, turned out to be right, so you conclude that the decision was right. Or like going to college instead of work. You went to college, but you failed. But at the time it was the correct decision. But you conclude that it was a wrong decision. That is why result-oriented thinking is flawed.